everybody. This is Lara Grice. I am an independent Norwex consultant. I wanted to hop on today and show you um, all about our silicone lids. This is one of our hidden gems with Norwex. I feel like people don't know a whole lot about them and they have so many different uses and it's just um, a lot of fun. So I'm excited to show you about them. But first, um, I'm just gonna set up one of my hacks that I have um, that I use these silicone lids with, but I need to kind of get it going beforehand and then I'll show you how it works later. So uh, I've just got like three quarters of a cup of water here and I'm going to um, use our laundry detergent to clean my makeup brushes. So um, I've just put about three quarters cup of warm water in there. I'm just getting about an eighth of a teaspoon of our detergent and I'm just mixing that up to dissolve it. Our detergent is amazing because there's so many different things you can use it for. And I know that's why we're constantly talking about our detergent and using it for cleaning carpets and all purpose cleaner and a whole bunch of other things on top of just using laundry. So um, one of the things I do use it for, like I said, is to clean my makeup brushes. These things are nasty, guys. They need to be cleaned. I used to never clean my makeup brushes, but this has become so uh, much easier now with this new hack. And so I thought I'd just show you. So um, again, I've got my water, warm water and detergent, and I'm just gonna put my brushes in here to soak and then I'm gonna set that aside and we'll come back to that in a little bit and I'll show you how that ties into the silicone lids that we have. So, um, I've got some notes here because some stuff I'm always gonna forget to tell you about, but um, some things about plastic. I mean, the thing that I love about these silicone lids is it can really help us reduce our, um, our plastic consumption. And um, some statistics that I found for you guys, according to the EPA, the U.S. consumes over 80, I'm sorry, 380 billion plastic bags and wraps annually. That's unbelievable. I mean, listen to that again, 380 billion plastic bags and wraps yearly in the United States. Um, plastics can take up to a thousand years to degrade over time. Um, I read that it takes just the typical plastic that we use, um, like our baggies and our plastic wrap, 10 to 20 years for that to degrade, 480 years for a plastic bottle to, um, to decompose. And all that stuff is going into landfills and just piling up and it's, it's pretty unbelievable. So um, that, you know, just think about all the plastics that we use on a daily basis, right? We know um, how, how harmful um, the chemicals are that are in those plastics as well. And a lot of us have used those over time to cover things up and use it in the microwave. And we know that all these plastics that we're using are leaching chemicals into our foods as well. And that's something that, um, you know, if we haven't gotten away from yet, it's definitely something that you should consider getting away from. So now is the time to do that. And um, the Norwex silicone lids are a great way to be able to do that as well. So um, our lids are, are BPA free. They are 100% food grade silicone. Uh, they're recyclable, they are dishwasher safe, they can be hand washed as well. Um, they're safe in the microwave, in the freezer, in the refrigerator, and they're also safe to be used in the oven up to 425 degrees. So um, just think about all the money that you can save if you're not having to buy any more plastic wraps and baggies and foil and all of those types of things. And then think about the environment and think about your health. And that's really what Norwex is all about. You know, we're really trying to change those things. And um, this is one of the ways we can definitely do that. So we've got a few different types. This um, are rectangle lids. And um, I love this because it fits absolutely perfectly on a nine by 13 pan. And I've got all these nine by 13 pans, but I've never had any kind of lid for them. So I love uh, that this fits just right on top of it and it creates a suction. I don't know if I'll be able to show you because it's such a heavy pan, but yeah, I'll show you with one of the other things, but it creates a complete suction around it, just a quick tap, and you've got a, a perfect seal around that. So, um, like I said, it's safe in the oven up to 425 degrees, so if you're cooking a casserole and you need to cover it up, normally you'd grab that foil. Uh, now you can just grab the silicone lid and put that right on there. Um, we've also got a 
square lid as well. They come in red as well. They have a few different colors, I believe, but um, square lid, usually I would use this for like brownies or something like that. And um, again, this does not come with a lid. I don't have a lid for it. So I've always had to use foil or plastic wrap and um, this fits perfectly on there. Little tap, this one may, yep, you'll see what a great suction it makes. I wouldn't, you don't, you do not want to walk around <laughs> with the top because that could happen, but it does create a very good suction on there. One thing I, I think is really great about these two is not just using it for storage, but let's say you're having a backyard barbecue. Um, you probably are covering that up anyways because you don't want bucks to get on that, but this is a great way to just put that on there. You can take it off, you know, people can quickly grab something and put it back on. You've got a whole assembly line of things and they're still covered up and then when you're done they are already ready to store so you know you just take it straight from here into the fridge so those are our rectangle lids which are really awesome these are sold separately so the rectangle and the square are sold separately but we also have round lids and we've got two different sizes of the round lids Okay, there's a larger one and a smaller one. Actually, there's three, but this comes in a pack of two. So this would come with the larger and the smaller. And uh, they fit really great, right on like, say if I'm making a salad or something that's just a regular bowl, fits perfectly right on top of there. Just give it a little tap, tap, it makes a seal. And there again, you can see just how well that seals. Um, and I love, the larger ones for so many things. I have seen quite a few people make popcorn using these lids. So just a little bit of um, oil and popcorn and tap, put it in the microwave and your popcorn can um, cook right up for you, right? So also just typical storage top. Um, a few things that you might not have thought about is like a, a watermelon or a cantaloupe. If you cut it flat across, you can use this as a seal and not have to wrap it in plastic. Um, what I will say about that is you do wanna have like a nice flat, even cut so that it can seal. If there's a big lump over the top of it, um, that's not you're not gonna get a good seal, but it is still covering the flesh most likely. Um, let's see, the crock pot is another way that could be used. And I'm really bummed that I threw my crock pot away because the lid cracked and I had no way to use it anymore and I ended up tossing that crock pot and buying a new one. But this would fit perfectly and work really well on top of a crock pot if needed. Um, something really unique and makes me laugh. I've seen pictures of people doing this and I'm definitely planning on doing it eventually. Uh, but if you've got dogs, you can see, I'm sorry, I've got a bunch of Norwex hanging on my windows over here, but um, these, you stick it to the window. Let's say you're, you're grooming your dog or trying to give them a bath and you can't keep them occupied and sitting still. I've seen people put peanut butter all over these and stick them to your window. Now this, my dog's not gonna be in my sink, but I've got a lower window over there. But you just stick it to your window and the dog can lick on this. So it's a licky mat to keep them occupied while you're grooming them, right? So if you've got a lower window, that would work great on it. Um, so those are some of our larger lids. Now let me show you our smaller lids because these are my absolute favorite and something that really can get a ton of use. So these come in a pack of four. I think there's other colors, but I have the green and the teal, okay? These are perfect for, um, you know, things that you would maybe expect them to be. Uh, this is just a cat food. We just got a cat, but it's great. We give our dog like, or our cat just to have a can in the morning and at night. So it needs to be sealed up. So we've been using this to seal it up um, until dinner time. Um, just regular cans, um, a soda can. If you have a family of it and drinks a half a soda and then it sits there, um, this will seal really well on that. Um, again, back to that like backyard barbecue, you've got a wine glass or some kind of glass. You just want to keep um, bugs out of it. It's great for something like that. Um, maybe keeping a little bit of heat in on your coffee cup. Um, some other things that people will use them for is it's great for like a grippy. If you need, you can't get that top off and you need something extra grippy, it's great for twisting the tops off. Um, garlic cloves, you know, you get trying to get the, the skin out of the garlic. You can put a garlic clove right in it and fold it over and crunch it. It'll pop it right out. Uh, let's see what else. I know I'm forgetting some things. Oh, um, 
great for a drain stopper. If you've got like a sink that doesn't have a drain stopper, especially if you've got one of those like weird tubs that, you know, there's just no way to plug it up. You can pop this on there and use it as a drain or like for us, we don't have a, um, I don't have a plug for our utility um, basin like in our laundry room. So I use this in there um, and especially if it's something that you want to soak. I know I use our laundry detergent to soak things that um, really need some extra <laughs> something like um, at the bottom of our bathtub. I was having some, some trouble getting some uh, sticky stuff off of the bottom of it that had just built up and I wanted to soak it with our dog duty detergent. So, um, you know, plugged that up because our, our plug in there doesn't work really well, but it works great with this. And then fill the water or the tub up just a little bit and put some of our laundry detergent in there. And unbelievable how easy uh, I was able to get that grime off the bottom of the tub that I was struggling with getting off before. And let's see, I know I've got a couple other things that I have missed. Um, Oh, just pressing down like Rice Krispie Treats is a great thing too. I know those are super sticky and you may grab like wax paper to press that down so your hands aren't sticking to it. This is a great reusable thing that you can do for something like that as well. So lots of fun things you can use that for that might not have thought of. Oh, um, avocados and apples. So if you cut an avocado in half, I know we don't always eat like a whole avocado and you can use that to cover that up. If you get a nice flat cut across that avocado, take the pit out and you know just do a little tap tap in the middle of it, it'll create that seal. And even if you don't get a perfectly flat cut um, and you're not getting a perfect seal, this is at least would be protecting the flesh of the avocado. And you know the avocado, you know how it turns brown very quickly. It's just the oxidation from, from the oxygen hitting it. So even if you're not getting a full seal on it, at least you're protecting the flesh and it'll keep it from browning. Same with an apple. If you cut an apple in half and only eat half of it, you can pop this over the top of it and that'll keep it from the brownness happening um, from the oxidation as well. So um, anyways, just like I said, a few fun things, but let me show you one more thing that, you know what, I'm gonna pour this into this white bowl so you can see. Um, I've been washing my, my makeup brushes a lot more often than I used to. And so, but you can still see like how gross that is, right? I mean, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> this is only a week, but how to tie these lids in is you just take your brushes and then you can put the lid right there on the side of your brush and then just run your brush over the sides of it. And the, the bumps on there will really help you get all that makeup out after it's been soaking for a few minutes. And then once they're completely done, I'm gonna let these soak a little bit longer because they could use a little bit more work there. But what I would normally do is just, you know, once I'm done with all the soaking and I get this really good and cleaned out with the brush, then I will rinse them off. And so I'm just gonna rinse this one underwater really quickly. and then just set it, about, set it aside to dry. We've got these little sink mats. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but um, I was a little perplexed when I got them because they're small. I didn't know what I was expecting. They came with some host rewards and I was expecting like larger like dish mats, but they're small. It comes in three. I don't have the biggest one sitting here. It's being used for something right now, but uh, there's this little one and this is the medium sized one. And then there's one that's a little bit bigger than that. And I was like, I'm not quite sure what to do with these. Uh, Sorry, I spilled water all over the place. Um, but one of the things I use it for now, this little one I just use by the sink. So it's usually sitting over like under my um, soap dispenser because soap drips down. So I use it sitting there. Um, I've got one sitting up like where it can lay our toothbrushes, but I use these now for um, my makeup brush brushes too. So when I'm done and they just need to dry, I just sit them on one of these to dry. So. I hope you learned some fun things and I hope um, this is uh, something you want to give it, a sh give it a shot. These are, like I said, the, we've got the small ones, the rectangle, the square, and then um, two different sizes of the larger rounds that come together and four of the small ones that come together in a package. I hope you learned something new today. Just think about how much money you can save and how much you can save the environment if you switch over to these. Thanks guys. Take care.